It happens to virtually everyone, feelings of sadness or hopelessness. For most people, these feelings can pass within a few days. For others, they can overwhelm and take over daily life. It is a condition known as major depression, and it is impacting the lives of nearly 10% of adults in the United States today. Depression can be caused by certain numbers of things, and we're all at risk because we have certain things that happen to us all the time. And it's that stuckness that creates the depression. For example, we can be in long-term grief and can't seem to get out of it. We can have traumatic things happen to us that we can't adjust to. So all those things begin to mount up, and we have that long-term sadness. We have long-term low energy, and we just don't feel like we can deal with life. Whatever the cause may be, depression is not just a state of mind. It is related to physical changes in the brain due to an imbalance of chemicals called neurotransmitters. The brain is organized in, in, with cell activity and, and one cell talks to another cell and the way that they communicate is through neurotransmitters and there are various neurotransmitters in the brain and the neurotransmitters uh, related to mood and emotion include serotonin, norepinephrine, and when these chemicals inside the brain are functioning at a balanced level, we feel okay, and then when there begins to be a shift related to stress or related to other events, then we begin to see an imbalance in these neurotransmitters, and that's the cause, as we understand it today, for depression. Depression not only affects a person's physical health, it also interferes with normal daily life. Mixed thoughts and feelings can trigger erratic behavior in people suffering from depression, hurting not only themselves, but also those who care about them. If you don't treat depression, many times it will go down to a vertex of despair. And when that happens, you have more difficulty with physical and mental, as well as social issues. You may experience more pain. You may have more problems with your health, for example, in your immune system. There's some data that shows that you have even impact on things like uh, the initiation of cancer and, and infection. So what you really want to do is you want to make sure that you have that kind of balance in your life. Well, it's like you're living in a dark tunnel and you have no joy in your life. Even your children, a job that you thought was significant and meaningful before, it just, there's no joy. And it truly, to me, the only way I can describe it is, it was like living in a tunnel. It's like everything around me was dark. Depression is a serious medical condition and should not go untreated. Medications such as antidepressants are most commonly used for treating cases of major depression. While antidepressants work to normalize neurotransmitters, they often can be unsafe and may have long-term side effects. The problem in treating depression with only medication is that you're only treating part of the brain. Medication is very effective in terms of helping slow down or increase various kinds of neurotransmitters, but it really doesn't help in terms of teaching the brain how to adjust and cope with depression. I work in a high-stress environment in the investment business, and I have three children, and uh, my husband has, is a cancer recovering patient, and so we had lots of stressors, everybody has stressors in their life, so um, I was I just felt terrible and I was diagnosed with chronic fatigue and basically the doctor suggested that I just not get up before nine o'clock in the morning and try to rest as much as possible and working full time and having three children that's basically impossible. So the things that the doctor suggested were just not even an option for me. There are many effective ways of dealing with depression. One of the most popular has to do with talk therapy, especially cognitive psychotherapy. One of the great breakthroughs has to do with actually stimulating the brain by using sonic waves. This can be very helpful for a person who just can't seem to get there fast enough. This is actually a more immediate way of actually exciting the brain so the person can actually feel more joy and actually peace by increasing the waveforms in the temporal and frontal lobes of the brain itself. This is a great new therapy that's helping hundreds and thousands of people with depression itself in a fairly direct way. Therapeutic rhythm techniques or drum therapy has been used for thousands of years to create and maintain mental, physical, and spiritual health. Based on this ancient approach, the bioacoustical utilization device or the BOD emits sonic waves to the brain that directly influence symptoms related to depression. 
The baud is a device that emits various kinds of sonic frequencies that are very similar to brain frequencies. If you can then calibrate the baud frequencies so that you can entrain the brain frequencies, you will have a better feeling of joy and peace because you're exciting the brain. By using the baud, psychologists can help a patient learn to neutralize unwanted emotions through sound frequencies. By disrupting these negative emotions, a person can be free to develop positive choices and live a normal lifestyle. I just felt terrible and I was diagnosed with chronic fatigue and I decided I would try the BOD. It worked so quickly, within just a few days I was able to lay down and go to sleep, first of all, and then after continuing to use it a, few, a you know, week, a little over, I could, I could stay asleep. BOD safely uses sonic or acoustical frequencies and has created a new, more sophisticated method for its application. The impact of these acoustical stimulations to the brain provide relaxation and relief from depressive symptoms. What we've discovered in the clinical research is that the most positive part of the BOD is getting people unstuck, getting people unstuck from those kinds of negative brain waves into a more positive brain wave and consequently a more positive attitude. This safe and effective new technology is helping people with depression and could be the future of therapeutic medicine. For more information about treating depression with the BOD, visit BODenergetics.com.